Not since the launch of Crystal Pepsi have so many been so wrong. <laughs> Except for me. I was right. I was right. A Donald Trump victory that still seemed like a long shot early Tuesday quickly turned into a media meltdown. People have talked about a miracle. Uh, I'm hearing about a nightmare. She won every debate by all standards. Oh, everything. Every debate. Yep. Everything. Every debate. She had the best ad campaign, the best ground game. This is a shot against meritocracy, I think. Our country is about to face some serious crises. And so, I mean, buckle up. Your country needs you. Mm. And of course, the late night shows weighed into uh, from my new Jenga partner, Trevor Noah, and even to Seth Meyers. There were sad faces all around. It still doesn't seem real. It still doesn't feel real. The message that I want to like spread out to other women is, is exactly what you're saying is not to give up. Sorry, I hate my camera, but. That does mean that someone's daughter is out there right now who will one day have that title. Whoever you are, I hope I live to see your inauguration. And I hope my mom does too. Uh, she was really excited yesterday. And um, I was really sad for her. Uh, my mom's name happens to be Hillary. Uh, uh, it was like they watched one of those commercials with all of those sad pets. All right. Um, you know, whenever I see this happen, I always, this is why I always carry around these. <laughs> Can I get one of those for you later? Just, yeah. But, but I have Terry, a long trip Terry, ahead of me. But Terry, remember, they're under the pants. <laughs> okay. Last time you did this, it was very embarrassing. Yeah. All right, uh, Tyrus, uh, shouldn't these late night comedians be celebrating because the next four years is going to be easier than if Hillary won? I mean, I understand. Who was the last guy's name? Seth Meyers. I understand. You know, he was sad about his mother not seeing a woman a president, but in his career, like he wouldn't be able to make fun of Hillary for that reason. Mm. Well, let's let's go back. You said media. Yeah, and which I am a part of. Yes, you are. Partly. But to be, it's such a loose term now. It's like yeah. everybody, everyone's yeah. everyone's beast mode now. Everyone's yeah. a beast now. Used to be this was beast. Now this could be beast too. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, he's and, right. It's a, a complete overuse term. And you spent the last year burying Donald Trump. You pushed yeah. your agenda. You knew you were so smart. You were so clever. You were so funny. You made fun of his hair, color of his skin. Everybody who voted for Trump had tobacco in their mouth. Six babies. Four of them were theirs. The other two were from the sister that didn't raise them. The entire country yeah. was a bunch of morons who drove trucks and said mayonnaise in two phrases. One for a spread and one mayonnaise. A lot of people walking around. So, <laughs> and the joke, the joke is on you. You were the joke. Yeah. And you're, yeah, not, yeah. you're not the media. Yeah. People didn't care about, you, about your comments and your stuff like that. For the first time in a long time, we have a full, we have no obstruction in this country, which I think is bigger than any party. Absolutely. We have a Senate, we have a House, we have a president, so we can get things done. And the next, and if, and if they don't, if they don't, next man up. We crush them. Yeah. yeah. Then the Democrats em. get a second shot, or maybe by the time we'll get an independence thing going, whatever. But they deserve a chance. They won. The country has spoken. And it's your responsibility. If you're going to be on the air and whatever network you work for, then tell it like it is. Don't push your agenda. You, he's crying. Like, if, if my son or daughter did that, I would have walked him to the bathroom. Because mm -hmm. after the baseball game, they didn't win. I didn't win that. I struck out. Because you suck, son. Come on, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the reality. Cat, I want to get Cat in here. Cat, no. you're, uh, you're a member of the media. Yes, uh, tangentially, if possible. Uh, how do you feel about how the Because the media really did love Donald Trump. I mean, they put him out there, but did they just put him out there just to bring him down? And now they're all shocked that he won. They didn't expect him to win. Right. Well, the thing is, you have to cover what people want to cover. Donald Trump made it impossible to not cover Donald Trump. Exactly. I mean, he's tweeting out these things. Everyone's seeing it. You can't even go to a bar and talk about anything but politics, no matter who you are. <laughs> so if, you know, if you weren't talking about Trump, you're going down. There's the REM guy, Michael Stipe, yeah. accused Alec Baldwin and SNL of helping get Trump elected. <laughs> not even by having him host, but by having him be parodied. What are they supposed to do? <laughs> yes. He, he just wow. not just, okay, yeah, I know he's a presidential 
presidential candidate but not cover him? It's, 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 it's just so simplistic to say that, oh, it's all the media's fault. That's the, no, people had legitimate reasons for voting for Trump, the ones who supported him. And they got more and more devoted to Trump when they saw the media assume that they didn't, that the right. only reason that, that they were supporting him is because they were seeing him on TV. And the more that happened, the more that their reasons were dismissed, the more they were like, Trump is the only one listening to me. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was able to get away with saying so many things, because they were like, I don't care. At least he's the only one listening to me and the only one who understands about, you know, the PC thing. And he won't, he's not afraid to say, bomb the out of him at a time where we have a president that won't say radical Islamic terror. So, they, they, you, know, and I, you know, I wasn't, a, you know, it, it makes sense where it all, where it all came from. And the media, um, by saying there was no reason other than exposure, they really made it worse. Mm. Well, Dirk, I, I'm afraid to ask you. Don't be afraid. Be brave. Uh, all right. It's I'm a brave a, new world. I just don't know. I don't it know. It's hard for me. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I remember I remember being apocalyptic when Bill Clinton was elected. That's how old I am. I, it, really? I, don't we all go through this yeah. kind of thing? We do it like... Yeah, we, but you did it with Bill. I did it with, uh, you know, I did it with Bill. I did it with Jimmy Carter. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't want to go back. Uh, yes, yeah. Jimmy. But they do it with Barry Goldwater, my first election. Barry yeah. Goldwater. Oh, my God. They did to him what they then did to Everybody know, Reagan. Else. They did it to all of them. Reagan was the only one. And Hillary had. worked for Goldwater. She well, she, yeah, she, well, then she, yeah. She, she got kicked off the Watergate thing, you know, because yeah. she used to corrupt for that. But uh, what was it? What was the question? That was a, that was a Trump what joke from question? a speech. I don't think I, you know what? If you can't I remember the question, question, we move on. <laughs> Terry. Thank you. Uh, no, it's a, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't have a question. I, I feel like something crazy could happen right here. Yeah, no, I yeah. Dirk get, might, no, I it's a good thing. No, but what, let me say one thing. Sure. Trump say, better yeah. not listen to oh, all the people that are making nice with him. A lot of them in his. Party. So you're vindictive. Yeah, you're vindictive. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he, he can't doesn't. only talk to. He's going to be the president. Do you remember? Do you? Do you? He better do everything he said. He's going to do everything now. We're going to ride on him. We're going to do it all. Remember when Obama got oh, elected God, and he brought in the Republican leaders and right. he said, I want to work with you, but if you don't want to work with me, uh -huh. adios, I'll work around you. I got a pen and a phone. I don't need you. Oh, that, that's that's a good point. I actually do that's not exactly want to That's exactly what he needs to do. <laughs> but he's also going to be, here's the thing that, that Donald Trump will not have, that, that Barack Obama had for eight years. He will not, obviously, have the protection of the media. That's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah you're right. Right. that's good. You couldn't say anything about President Obama. Certainly, the first four years, if you even had anything racist, he doesn't need the protection. No, no, no. But what I'm, but what I'm saying is right. Maybe not. He's what? not going to have that. He's also going to have, I hope, a a now spine, a, sp a Congress with spine that mm -hmm. would not fight Barack Obama. That now they should hold him to account, st do the checks and balances, and if he gets out of line, then you kind of crush him and bring him back in. This is a win-win for everybody if they just everybody take it. Okay. Breath. And I disagree with one point you wrote. What? You wrote a great piece. You wrote yeah. a great piece about those three, sort of three or four things you Right, took. right, right. And you said the only reason the media, uh, you said the media was all about only ratings. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think that's true. I disagree a little bit. They did have an agenda. They did want to see Hillary Clinton elected. It wasn't just about getting ratings. I also think Hillary Clinton's campaign was very happy to see Donald Trump promoted because she thought that'd be the dude she could beat. And yeah. also, she, well, that was the point. And also the fact right. that she didn't have to do anything as long as Donald was up there and he was right. the entertainment yeah, value. That's true. And she thought she could hide somewhere in a Yeah, wherever, and, she, and she did. And, 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 and it blew up in her face, too. All right, we've got to go. We've got so much stuff. Coming up, we'll be in Trump's cabinet. I'm guessing Chef Boyardee and maybe Mrs. Butterworth. That's a cabinet joke. If you'll be in the New York area and would like to be part of our studio audience, email greatticks at foxnews.com.